Hi there, welcome back to another WoW tutorial. My name is Tide, and today we're going to be going over hotkeys and key bindings. Now, uh, I'm going to start going over my personal key setup, and then we're going to go into some other key setups that I found out um, through people online, through forums, through you know different sources that I've been able to pull up that seem to work for different people. Before we begin, I do want to state that I do use add-ons. I use LVY, which is a complete UI overhaul. A lot of other people use different add-ons for their hotbars. A really common one I see all the time is Bartender, which is a great add-on that lets you move your hotbars and make them bigger or smaller, move them wherever you want. LVY does let you do the same thing and also has a very easy key binding menu. Otherwise, you hit escape or hit your game menu and go to key bindings. And then from there, you can go ahead and start reshifting your keys and getting to a point where you're more comfortable with your setup. For starters, I recommend unbinding keys that you can't normally reach. So if you're using WASD, I, for example, unbound 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, minus and equal, because I can't reach those with my hand regardless. So I went ahead and bound those to something else, and that way, when you look at your hotbars, you can see what's binded to it, and it doesn't just say 6, 7, 8, 9. You can see that it says like Shift M or Shift M5, which is, you know, Shift and my mouse 5 button, uh, and so on. There are also a bunch of different mouses you can purchase for your gaming experience. There are a whole lot of mouses that have a bunch of extra buttons. I had a World of Warcraft specific mouse uh, that had, I want to say, somewhere around 16 extra buttons. And it was really it was really neat. You could actually bind every single key to it. And it made it very convenient. However, that mouse did go bad on me and I eventually had to swap it out. But if you do have a mouse with multiple buttons, I highly recommend using it. I still recommend using scroll click. I know a lot of mouses do have a mouse 4 and a mouse 5. If you have those two buttons, I still highly recommend you use them because they allow you for a very quick shortcut right on your hand. A lot of higher level players refuse to use mouses that have keypads on the side, like the Naga, because you lose accuracy when you have to use those buttons. I've been told that when you use those buttons, you lose thumb support, so it throws off your aim. And if you're trying to use moves that are like skill shots or you're trying to use moves that need to be placed, you might not want to be finicky with your aim and want to make sure you drop it as quick as possible. So first I'd like to cover my own key setup. Now I already do have 6 through equal unbound like I mentioned. I do have some keys that were originally bound in the game that I unbound myself, like sit. I removed that because I mean, you don't really need to sit, you can just type slash sit. So now I have X as an available button. I unbound my show nameplates button because I always want my nameplate showing anyway. So V became an available button. Uh, I have F, I have R. I have a, you know, a couple other buttons that you could use um, that are close to where your hand setup is. I do use WASD. Now there are people who do who use different movement keys, and I'll get into that in a bit. Now, my 1 through 5 keys, I have all bound to abilities that are important, and then my mouse 6 key is bound to a an important ability, like Avenger Shield, like Rupture on a Rogue, like Haunt on my Affliction Warlock. Um, and this button is because it's always on my mouse and it's very easy to click. On my mouse 4, my Paladin is my Heal, and on my Rogue, it's my Slice and Dice, so it's typically my buff button. and my mouse 5 is usually my AoE button, depends on the on the class, but I do use my mouse 5 for Consecration on my Paladin. I then combined those buttons with my Shift, so if I want to use like another AoE move, I know that my AoE is bound to mouse 5 on my Consecration, so I could use Shift mouse 5 for my Hammer, because my Hammer is an AoE move. So that way I kind of keep in my head like, oh that's right, this is my AoE button, let me just press Shift and now I have another AoE. Uh, you can do this however you like, whatever you're comfortable with, but I play multiple classes, so having these little these little tricks in my head help me remember which buttons I need to press. While some might argue, th argue with me against this, when you have certain moves that you don't cast often, I recommend binding them just to a more unused key setup, like with Alt, or with Control, or with Shift, and some moves I just don't bind at all, because they're very situational, like I'm not really going to bind create so well when I can just click it. I mean, there's no rush to click it, if you know what I mean. With my Paladin, uh, I probably should buy my, my big bubble, but I do not have that bound as of right now, because I rarely use my huge bubble. I, I never really find an opportunity to use it in a raid, because I am tanking and I do lose aggro when I pop it, so I'd rather not. I do have, of course, my defensive cooldowns bound, just not my bubble. I don't have my racial bound either, because I feel like that's a very situational move. I already have an interrupt, and as a blood elf we get another interrupt, which is, you know, it's like a, a very backup move, which it's no big deal if I move, move out of my way real quick to click it. Certain moves just that aren't important that you may not be using, like I love having every ability on my bars just because I feel like, oh, you never know when you might need this. 
but th that's me personally. If you feel that that move is useless and you're never, ever, ever going to use it, don't put it on your bar, man. Like, do what you feel is comfortable. So other players use different movement setups and different key setups that I was taught when I did my movement video. If you want to go ahead and check out my movement video, I'll go ahead and throw the link in there for you. But I did a, a video strictly about how to move correctly and how to make sure that you're not getting hit by things. And I had a lot of feedback telling me on different ways people use their movement keys and how they have everything set up and bound. So I wanted to add that into this video because I felt like it was extremely appropriate. So a lot of players use ESDF or IJKL for movement. Now what I hear a lot is that it depends on if you're righty or lefty or if you want the extra buttons on your pinky because if you're using for example ESDF if you look at your, your keyboard you have QAZ unbound and you can use those for, for abilities. Now I've also seen people unbind turn left turn right which are in my case A and D and they just bound their strafe to A and D and that way Q and E are open now. I've seen people unbound backpedal, that way you don't accidentally backpedal in, in, in PvP, backpedaling is not a good thing. The only time backpedaling is ever needed is if you're a tank and you're raiding. Another good tip I hear about ESDF and IJKL is that F and J have little nudges on them which we use for typing and to make sure you can reacclimate your hands back onto your keyboard, but for them it's easier when they move their hands away from their movement setup they can quickly find where they're going to put their hand again because of a little little nudge on the key. I highly recommend taking a look at some other people's setups or asking around, maybe some people in your guild, see what they use and see if it's more comfortable for you. I recommend always learning something new. If you feel like, oh, you know, this is going to be awkward at first, of course it's going to be awkward at first. You have to start somewhere, man. When I started using shift and a combination of my mouse, it was very awkward, to be honest. Like, I didn't feel like it was very right, but now that I've used it for quite a long time, I've gotten more used to it, and I've been able to play better and just be able to perform better in my raids and in PvP, and you know, stuff like that. I'm glad I was able to share my setup with you guys. If you guys have different setups or you guys recommend setups to newer players, go ahead and drop it in the in the comment below. That way, new players can learn and new players can use different methods and have different options into which key setup they're going to use. Well, I hope you guys really liked this video. Uh, go ahead and give me a like, a subscribe, uh, go ahead and comment. If you have any ideas of what you want me to do for next week, uh, go ahead and let me know. I plan to do a class series on how to properly play classes and leveling PvP and PvE. And of course, it'll just be a brief summary of people who've never seen the class or have been kind of interested in playing the class. Aside from that, I hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and have a good one.